this is just for the video. Take <laughs> it. I like it. So how are you all doing? I love how Kajal just changes the entire mood of my face. <laughs> so I have the responses here, so give me a minute till I open it. By the way, I washed my hair today, it looks so nice. I washed only because I wanted to dry them in the sun. <laughs> so my first question is, I am really impressed with your lifestyle. Please suggest from where I can start to conquer from overthinking. Sonali has asked. So hi Sonali, I'm gonna keep every answer very short and to the point so that you guys don't get bored and all of your questions get answered. So yeah, to prevent overthinking, my first and foremost thing is journaling. So now journaling has a lot of um, levels to it, but for overthinking, the one that works best is free handwriting. As in, when I'm thinking a lot and I'm not really sure what is bothering me, as it happens with most of us, what I do is just write. So if I am thinking money, if I'm thinking relationships, if I'm thinking family, whatever I'm thinking about, I'll just write it down. So free handwriting is the sole answer to prevent overthinking or to, as you said, conquer from overthinking. Yeah. The second is Shambhavi. He, she's asking not to do anything. I mean, like I feel stubborn and I don't feel like doing any rituals or any method. I don't know why I feel like this. I think the context behind your question would matter a lot for the answer. Yeah. Also, Shambhavi asked another question that I wanted to ask for a long time as I'm into manifestation from two years, but suddenly now after my exam, I don't feel like doing it. So that's okay. You don't, manifestation is not something you're bound to do. And if you take breaks, you take breaks. It's not a big deal. It's, it's just you and whatever you do just for your own self, you don't have to think too much into it. If you're doing it, good. If you're not doing it, but you are at peace, good. Ankita Ghosh, she's saying, what is the actual process of manifestation you have to wish or visualize or keep on saying? Now, there are a lot of process that includes manifestation. Journaling, now journaling is basically getting your mind clear, first of all. Then we say visualization. Visualization is basically uh, thinking the life that you want to live and feeling the emotions like you already have it, like you're already living that life. There is 369 method, 555 method. I have explained it in my other videos as well. But whatever these methods mean, all they're saying is repeatedly say or write whatever you want in your life and it won't magically appear to you, but it seems like that it does magically appear. When you keep repeating it, you sort of put it in your subconscious mind and your mind then takes actions according to what you asked for. So you don't have to be like how it will happen that's not your job to do your job is to what do you want you just have to put it out there how manifestation done in present tense i am confused this confused with this nayana is asking this when i say i want to buy a house so when i say i want to buy a house it means that when i put something in future tense it is there in the future so if i'm writing in present tense i am calm i am confident if I say I will be confident, I want to be confident, doesn't work. I need to be in the same frequency to manifest something into reality. So if I say I have this house, I own this house in this country, in this city, then I'm telling the universe that this house is already mine. And my subconscious mind will make me take actions exactly the same way. Does manifestation really works? Yes, it does. Nance asked me this. It definitely does. My entire life depends on it. So yeah, I believe in it. How many times in day we are supposed to do? There is no particular number to how many times you have to manifest. You need to make your own rituals. I think our schooling system has told us on how we all need to follow something similar. So it does not work like that. You need to make your own ritual. And those rituals also keep changing. So yeah. So next question is from Ishani. She's asking, can we manifest multiple wishes at the same time? Yes, we can. All we need to do is write what we want in present tense. Also, she's asking, what is the best manifestation writing method according to you? According to me, it is right after you wake up. So right after you wake up, your mind is in a theta stage where the window to your subconscious mind is still open. 
so the best way is to write your manifestations or basically affirmations right after you get up lord felixens he or she is asking khud ke sath zindagi kaise jeete hain live alone make your own rituals you will start to know how to live with yourself shalini is asking how to start manifestations to start manifestations all you need to do is get a journal or diary or a page and a pen and that's it just write what you want to happen what kind of life you want what kind of partner you want what kind of job you want what kind of work you want just write what you want and that is manifestations riyansh is asking how you handle your haters i don't i don't need to rohini is asking i have self doubts pity overthinking issue hate or and a lot more negative emotions also laziness please help for self doubt and overthinking i can say that you need to watch good videos you need to watch good content on social media and you need to stay away from scrolling too much on instagram or talking to people who don't give you enough respect because i think self doubts come from the people who are living immediately with you so if that's the thing i think you need to make that shift Sweet Sparkle is asking how to start the manifestation journey. Does this help to calm my mind and fulfill my desire? I answer I just said earlier, and yes, it does help you calm the mind. Theo Riser is asking how to ignore 3D and keep your mind at peace. How to ignore 3D? What is 3D? I'm not sure. Okay. Then we have Unlove Zero One. I am seeing all kinds of angel numbers for past two years now. Why? So here I will put. a small screenshot for all the angel numbers their description the direction and enjoy aapka future plan kya hai according to larger audience aur aapko future mein kya karna hai shubham is asking i don't plan future i just plan my day and that's about it maybe may sound very cliche but it is what it is i don't plan my future at all as everybody else's life my life has had surprised me in weird ways so i don't have any plans for future i just um decide my day my dinner and that's it <laughs> okay we have shri kulkarni is asking this phrase you will get right thing at right time matters or with law of attraction we can get this thing instantly there are two right times one is when you think it is and the one is when the thing actually happens it's all about being positive with law of attraction you cannot get things instantly of course it's not magic again but your actions if the thing is under your control then your actions will be in the process of attaining that thing so for example if i am manifesting some kind of work or job or my business then if i'm manifesting it if i'm writing every day you know i have a successful business i have these products then i'll be able to work also pretty nicely towards it pretty quickly towards it and hence the results will be quick although on the other hand if i don't write if i don't manifest then i'll do it at another pace it might work there also i'm just saying that with law of attraction if the thing is under your control then the results can be faster although if it is not then leave it up to the universe keep telling the universe what you are expecting what you are wanting and let the universe take care of it been trying to manifest a new job but no luck what's blocking my manifestation so i have been trying for a job since a year now i feel that when it comes to job getting accepted at a company that we feel that is best for us it is not in our hands we can keep manifesting as my earlier answer keep manifesting leave the rest to the universe stay positive if it is in your destiny it will come to you but nothing is blocking your manifestation don't don't like remove that sentence at all together nothing blocks a manifestation only thing that blocks is your own thoughts yeah what food or diet you follow i don't follow any food or diet i just eat homemade food how you journal to manifest i journal as i said before before going to bed and after waking up instantly 
how to convince mind to believe in uh, manifestation gurpreet is asking hi gurpreet um to believe in manifestation you just have to uh, convince the mind to believe in universe to believe that there is some higher power above your own existence and you cannot control everything if the thing is under your control make sure your actions are up to the point if not then just believe the universe but of course put those signals in the universe to finally achieve it hi aksha so your questions are somewhat similar so please see the video and i hope you get the answer fear of manifesting is it even possible to happen this is bust out bubble he's asking hi um of course it's 100% possible to happen you don't have to fear manifesting it is nothing wrong either it will happen or it will not in most of the cases i have seen uh when you're manifesting something it if it is not happening instantly like if it is not happening the same day or the same month it will happen probably one or two months around it it will so i think that was about it i think i gave the answers this was just a small q and a i shall be posting more the sun did go down a long time back i hope i could clear your doubts i hope i was helpful and if you have more questions please please comment down i would love to improve i would love to make another video if need be uh, let me know and thank you for following me and by the way this is how the sunset looked today it is so pretty oh i love sunsets it's been after so long that i'm able to see one Although I don't like the people in the balcony, but okay.